Hello, everyone. Welcome to Preface Nomad Junior. I'm Teacher Carmen. Today, I'm going to show you how to do a moving background in Scratch. Here we have a bird. What we need to do is simply use the arrow key to control the bird to catch the stars. But do you know why even if I'm not moving the bird, it still looks like it is flying? Actually, it is the cloud and the building moving to the left hand side of the screen, making the bird look like it is flying forward. And today I'm going to teach you how to do this moving background while the score function and the bird movement will be covered in the next video. All right, let's start. I think we don't need the cat, so let's delete it. And do you still remember the first step to create? is to create the world. So let's head over to backdrops and then choose a backdrop. And today I'm going to choose the blue sky too. Okay. And what's the second step to create? Is to create the characters. So of course we need the main character, the bird, right? So let's head over to sprite and then choose a sprite. And we can type bird here. And we have plenty of choices and I'm going to choose the parrot. All right, but the parrot looks a little bit too big. So let's change the size to 80 over here. Okay, but the sky looks a little bit too plain. Let's add some more something else to make it more like a sky. So let's go to Sprite again and let's search for the clouds. Cool, we have the cloud in the sky now. But I think we can add something else. Let's go to Sprite again and then let's search for the buildings. See, we have a lot of buildings here. So we can just click on it. All right, and what else? Of course, we need the star. The project is called the Star Catcher. So we need to add a star. Actually, it doesn't need to be a star. It can be an apple, it can be a diamond, it can be a rabbit, it can be an alien that the parrots want to catch. It can be anything. So now we get everything we want in the project. All right, let's start the coding part now. So like I said earlier, the moving part is not about the bird. It's actually the sprite on the background, including the cloud, the star and the building, moving to the left hand side of the screen, making the bird looks like it is flying forward. So let's start by coding the cloud now. Make sure we are at the cloud. And we want the cloud to move automatically when we start the game by clicking the green flag. So let's go to events and then drag when green flag click. So when we click on the green flag, we want the cloud to start from the right hand side and move to the left hand side, right? So we drag the cloud to the right hand side to the starting point that we want first. And you will see there's an X value here X means the horizontal points of the cloud. So here the horizontal point of the cloud is 269. We want the cloud to start at this point. So let's go to motion and then we set the starting point to be 269. But then we don't want the cloud always on the same level because supposedly there are different clouds. When one pass by, another cloud will come in and they won't be always on the same level. Sometimes we we'll want it higher, sometimes we we'll want it lower. So that's the Y value. That's the vertical point of the cloud. So we go to set Y to something. If we set it to be 48, it will always be on this level, 48. 
But since we want different value, let's go to operators and drag this pick random number blocks. So sometimes we want it to be as low as here. So the Y point is 14. So just type in 14 here. And sometimes we want it to be higher, to be here. So the vertical point is 144. So just type 144 here. So the cloud will be randomly picked by the computer that it will sometimes be up to here and sometimes it's down to here. All right. And then the main part is we want the cloud to go from the right hand side to the left hand side. So let's go to motion because it's all about movement. So let's pick this one, glide. Okay, we want the cloud to glide from the right hand side all the way to here, to the left hand side. So the horizontal point of the cloud is negative 288. So let's just type negative 288 here. But for the Y position, for the Y vertical points, we don't know what number does the computer pick for us, right? So we just get the number from them. So we just set Y position. Whatever Y position you get for me, you just glide it to there for me. So this number glide how many seconds? So the shorter the number, the smaller the number, the faster it will be. So let's change it to two seconds. It can be actually num any number that you want. So finally, don't forget to go to control and get the forever block and wrap everything up so that the cloud will repeat forever coming out. Otherwise, it will just come out once and then it stop moving. So we have just finished coding the cloud and we still have the star and the building left. But wait, I just realized the code for the star and the building are actually very similar to the one that we did for the cloud because they are all doing the same thing, moving from the right hand side to the left hand side. So what we can do is actually to duplicate the code that we did in the clouds to the star and the building so that we don't need to do it over again. So let's say if I want to duplicate the blocks to the star. So let's just drag the whole thing and then go to the star and then let go. And then when you go to the star, we got the blocks that we built for the cloud. We don't have to do it over again. That's pretty smart, right? But we want to change a little bit about the star. We don't want the star to have the same vertical point as the cloud. We want the star to go down to here sometimes so that the game is harder to play. So let's change the vertical points of the star. So maybe we want the star to go down to here sometimes. So the Y value is negative 139. So we can just change the value here to negative 139. And we want the star to go up to here. So the Y value is 137. So we just change it to 137. So here, what the computer will do is to pick a random number as the star's vertical value. So the star can appear here, appear here, here, or here, anywhere that the computer randomly pick. Okay, and we want the star to move a little bit faster than the cloud. So let's just change this number to one second. So it means the star will only take one second from here to here, which is faster than taking two seconds. The rest are all the same. And for the building, it's actually just the same. So let's practice one more time. We want to copy the code that we just did for the star and copy it to the building. So drag the whole thing 
to the building sprite and then let go. And then when we go to building, we get the exactly same blocks as we did for the star. All right. But then we have to change a little bit for the building. For the building, do we want the computer to randomly pick a vertical point for us? Like, do we want the building to be here sometimes and here sometimes? No, we don't. We want the building to be at the bottom all the time because the building is not supposed to be in the up in the skies, right? So what we have to do is to drag out the middle block, set Y2, because we don't want to move the vertical point anymore. So we drag out this, this block and put this one black, put this one back, and then we flow away the set Y2 blocks to the left hand side and say goodbye. So now what we have is the building will glide from the right hand side to the left hand side okay and for the y position we want to keep it at negative 58 we want it to be to stay here all the time so let's change it to negative 58 all right and for the seconds here let's make it slower so let's make it three here so it moves slower than the star and the cloud and one more thing let's check out the costume here wow you see there are so many different beautiful design for the building it's actually like a wardrobe so the building has 10 different clothes and we want the building to change different clothes every time when it appears we don't want the same building all the time. So let's go back to code and go to looks and because it's about how the building looks and drag this one next costume and put it here so that every time when we when the building appear, it will change to a new costume before it comes out. So let's try to play it. Let's try the green flag and see if everything is all right. Wow, seems good. Everything looks good. So that's all for the moving background. Thank you. So let's do a little recap of what we have learned today. We start off by learning about the use of motion blocks, including setting the X, which is the horizontal point and why the vertical point of different sprites and also the glide block it helped us to define where do we want the sprite to be at and where do we want them to go to so it is very important for both animation and games building second we have introduced the concept of forever so that the blocks wrapped inside the forever block will be repeating themselves forever it is especially useful if we want to make something to happen repeatedly. So that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed the project. Remember to give us a thumbs up if you like it. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button to get our daily contents. I'm teacher Carmen and this is Previs Nomad Jr.